Ah, uh, good morning. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about relationship. Relationship, men and women relationship. Under this COVID-19 situation, a pandemic. All right. Now, you know, there's a lot of single women out there who is independent, living by themselves, doing their thing. And this pandemic has hit. And I'm sure it, within their head, they're saying, damn, I wish I had a partner. Because there are some that are sick. There are some that have died. And no fault of their own because of this pandemic. But, you know, if someone was there, they could have helped. Take them to the ER, you know, give them some sort of treatment, some soup or something, you know. But unfortunately, things happen. Now, ladies, I'm talking to you guys, all right? Now, you have to change your way of thinking. You know, we can't be too, you can't be too damn choosy. And I'm going to use that word, damn choosy okay there's a there's a lot of men out there that are single and there's a lot of women that are single and why because of selfishness too damn choosy um they're they both looking for good looking men good looking women a woman that has all the assets men who's got all the financial assets you know that's a non-equal branch we're supposed to be looking for love. And when I say love, I mean love. You know, first thing you should look for is love. And then all those as all those probabilities will come along. Okay? You know. You just can't go out there and seek in that man that's driving that fancy car. You know, that oh, you know, he's got that house, he's got that big business, he's got cash coming out of the bank. That's not right. And and definitely men can't be doing the same either, okay? Now, what I'm saying is that if you meet someone, it should be about what's in front of you, you know? The way the person looks, is he okay dressing well? You know, you dress casual or whatever, and the way the person speaks and can relate to you, you know? Um, if the person makes you laugh, smile, that's really what's important, you know. And then, after you're going on a few dates and all that stuff, you see where the person's head is at, you know. And, you know, just check out the, you know, the, um, the person's personality, characteristics, star quality, you know, star quantity, uh, star quality also. You know, give that person a shot. Because in this lonely world today, under these different circumstances, p pandemics, you can't be afford and can't be lonely in this time. All right? You know, let me tell you something. It, I, it's, it's, it's very hard, I know. And a lot of people want certain people on their level, in the same status. But it's not everything that you seek you will get. You know, right? Some people go to the church. They find a man in the church. And they get married. And a few days later, that's over. Not even in the church is sound. Believe me. You know, every man must know their destiny. And like Bob Marley would say, Every man wanna 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 love someone. You know, like you would say, I wanna love you. Everybody wants to love somebody. You know. So I'm just gonna make this short. Give yourself a chance. You know, adapt to the new realm. Okay? Because you know what? COVID nineteen is not easy. So what if the next pandemic comes around? You know, there's women that, 
you know, they live by themselves and they die by themselves in their own house. And there's nobody there to help them. Now, that's no fault of their own, but this is what the virus has done. You know, it has taken a, f a lot of people without notice. You know, it's like death come to your door and knock on your door and you're gone and you're done. You know, it is sad. It's a sad. You know, I know people that have died in their house, you know, two, three days before someone discovered them, you know. Okay, that's within my family also. So, you know, ladies, if you don't want to live with a man, give a man a chance to even visit or come see you, you know, and you can go see the man or something, you know, because it's rough. You got to have somebody you could call on in a time of crisis. All right. We all need someone we can call on in a time of crisis. You know, there's a lot of things that women, you women can do, and there's a lot of things you can't do, you know, but you have to reinvent yourself, you know, and the man that you come to meet, you know, he can evolve also and reinvent himself into a good man, you know, or not, but, you know, you got to give yourself a chance, really, you know, because look, you know what? This is something that came on us suddenly. And look, it has destroyed many lives. Somehow the numbers that they are counting, 70,000, I believe it's more. What about those homeless people? What about those Indian on the reservation? What about people that they just take out of the house? Or people who is probably still in their house who is dead and nobody knows they are dead until we start to smell something, you know? You know, I mean, it's it's crazy. You just got to love somebody. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it doesn't matter whether you're gay, straight, or hit, or miss, or whatever. Find somebody of your equal and love them. Give someone a chance, you know? And it, it goes both ways, not just for men and not just for women, you know? Some men want a woman with all the assets, of the body, bodily shape and breasts and the ass and everything, you know, and, and women want more financial status, you know, so it's like assets versus liabilities, I guess. So the woman want assets and the man wants some liability. Liabilities, basically, you know, the body, the butt, the, the the breasts you know and the good looking and that's the liability right there but hey it also could turn into an asset you know it's a different time now and we need to just you know come to our senses and you know realize that everybody needs somebody to be around them because guess what life is too short you know for real I mean, I can understand if you have your children around you, that's somebody. But if you're alone in your house, you must have somebody around you that's close or somebody in a relationship with you that can, you know, live with you or somehow come and visit or something. Because it's very scary. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very scary. And... um. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that's frightened for what's going on. You know, what we've seen on the television and all that stuff. It's very frightening. All right? So, my suggestions is reinvent yourself. Give people a chance. Whether you're a man or a woman. You know? It's about characteristics, personality, star, star quantity, star quality. You know, give everybody a chance, you know, get to know someone, you know, I mean, a lot of people out there talk shit about me, but you know what? I really don't give a shit. You know, I, I just do me, you know what I'm saying? That I do me that people start to saying, yo, I didn't know you were like that. Yo, I just do me. Do you, do you, 
and let people start talking good things about you. All right? You know what I'm saying? Help your fellow man. Help your fellow sisters. All right? God bless. Stay safe. Wear your mask everywhere you go. You know? And um, just wear the, the right um, PPE, proper personal protective, um, you know, uh, um, equipment. All right? So, like I said, just be safe. All right? Hopefully, we all can see each other in... Um, 2021 i guess when this thing is um bypass or pass over or gone i don't know you know all right so just stay strong you know and just god bless to all of you stay safe all right bless up